guys so as you can see we have got the cold air intake both the intercooler pipes and the uh, coolant filtration system bracket off and then I have the uh, Mishimoto coolant filtration system and we're gonna be getting a custom badge for this so don't worry guys we're gonna be doing something pretty cool with that uh, so I went ahead and took off just the mount right there go ahead and have that bracket powder coated too so this should look pretty clean whenever we get done and like I said I just want to give a big shout out to single shot powder coating in Science Hill Kentucky go ahead and check out their uh, Facebook and Instagram it'll be linked in the description below so let's load these pops up and head there now heading to single shot powder coating in Science Hill Kentucky to pick up uh, the intercooler pops the cutter intake and the bracket for the coolant filtration system um, we're gonna be doing a lot more powder coating through these guys they have had a one day turnaround I repeat a one day turnaround time doing powder coating blasting all that getting these intercooler pipes done up so we're gonna go ahead and cruise over there and I will see you whenever we get there <music> powder coating in science hill kentucky y'all go ahead and give them a follow on instagram and check them out if you need any parts or anything for a bike street bike bicycle truck it don't matter they are the go-to people to do powder coating so big shout out to them the intercooler pipes and the quarter intake that they powder coated turned out absolutely perfect so let me go ahead and show you these things So let's go ahead and get these parts loaded up and I will see you back at the house and we will install all of this stuff. So while we are headed back home, I went ahead and asked the owner there before I left. They will, like they said that people ship them stuff like all the time to have powder coated. So you don't even have to live around Kentucky to have this place do your powder coating work. Um, if you don't have anyone good around you or if you can't find anyone around you, single shot powder coating is the place to go to so we have got all of the old popping pulled off and we are gonna go ahead and replace this with a new popping that was freshly powder coated at single shot powder coating if you didn't already hear that like the 3,000 times that I've said it in this video so I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on and then I will be right back I just want to go over a few things so this color like in the sun has so much flake in it I freaking love it um, and if anybody's wondering this is a prismatic powders powder coat it is illusion Spanish fly and the blue filter on here is only temporary my S and B hasn't came in yet I called Rudy's diesel and I just went ahead and ordered like just a universal like four inch um, S and B filter along with like a filter screen. So this will be, I think it's either red or black, but it doesn't matter because it's going to have an S and B filter cover, like a filter skin on it anyway. So this will be black. And I'm probably going to take this off and have it powder coated. We're going to be doing these radiator support brackets, have those powder coated as well we're going to take this piece off right here and have it powder coated i'm going to be doing the billet um the billet fuel filter and the oil filter caps uh, the billet aluminum ones i'm also going to be doing a aluminum degas bottle or radiator coolant tank whatever you want to call it and then that will be powder coated the same color or i might leave it polished 
Uh, so you all go ahead and comment down below because I'm not really sure if I want to have the aftermarket one powder coated or if I should just leave it polished aluminum or raw aluminum, whatever it is. It's like a shiny aluminum. It looks pretty good just as it comes. I don't know if I will uh, powder coat it. So this will be black. That would be polished aluminum. The pipes are that Illusion Spanish Fly. I think I'm going to do this Illusion Spanish Fly as well. I'm going to have that powder coat as well. So then it goes like, it goes pipe, boot, and then the same color pipe or elbow, whatever you want to call it. But I'm thinking for the uh, turbo housing, I'm going to do the powder coat as well. So I'll probably have the, the compressor side or whatever, cold side, intake side, whatever you want to call it. Um, turbo housing powder coated the same color as everything else as well and then I'm thinking about leaving the uh, the fuel cap the fuel filter cap and the oil filter cap polished or chrome whatever it is it's like it's one of the two I don't think it's chrome I'm pretty sure they're just polished aluminum so I'm thinking about leaving those polished aluminum and doing the degas bottle polished aluminum as well and then powder coating this and then these brackets um, I think that that would blend it all in pretty good with the black filter. So it would all be polished and that gold color, just like my suspension is going to be. So I think I'm going to do the coil spring. Um, I'm going to powder coat the coil spring. I'm going to do these Bilsteins, these Bilstein shocks right here. I'm going to take the shock body right here and sand it, take it through sanding stages and polish it out along with the Bilsteins on the rear whenever I get the time to do that. And then a lot of the stuff under here is going to be powder coated as well. So like the drag link will be powder coated, the track bar will be powder coated, the tie rod bar will be powder coated, probably going to be getting um, some PMF differential covers i'll be powder coating those as well so everything under here is going to be powder coated i'm going to get chrome tow hooks and yeah so i don't want to keep you all waiting too long but just go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed this video because like i said we've got a lot more powder coating to come and one last time go ahead and give single shot powder coating a follow on Instagram or add them on Facebook or like their page, whatever you want to do. And you can ship them stuff to have it powder coated. You can drive it to them. You can throw it at them. You can do whatever you want to them. Just go have your shit powder coated there. Because look at this. Look at this. It looks pretty good. It looks really good. I'm super happy with the color. Because in the sunlight, this is like a bright, like yellow gold. Just like my truck is like a bright yellow gold beige in the sunlight. And then in the darkness, it's like that darker amber orange gold color. And then my truck is just like a dark gray. So, um, Also, traction bars are coming soon. So that might be one of my next few videos will be the traction bars. That's what I plan on doing next. So that'll probably be like the first piece of powder coated stuff underneath the truck will be the traction bars. But anyway, I won't keep you here too long. So like I said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment what you want to see next, and comment on the fuel filter cap, the oil filter cap, and the radiator coolant bottle. Um, those will be billet aluminum or polished aluminum, whatever you want to call them. Should I leave them aluminum or should I have them powder coated? So that is all, and thank you for watching this video. Peace.